Solving a problem is a business. Alright, so welcome once again to Eagle Eye Angle and today guess what we are at um the production hub of Tiger Nut in um Kosa district in the eastern part of Ghana, Ediamwa. Have you asked yourself where we have been producing this tiger nut? And here we are at Ediamwa. But um I think my producer is one of the famous guys in Ko. He has more to say, Kajobra. What do you know about um, Adiyamwa? Uh, my brethren, I know Adiyamwa to be a small town found in Kwawi here. But in terms of tiger nut production, sister, don't go there. Because they produce a whole lot of, and a large quantity of tiger nut. And they distribute it all over Ghana here. And Ghana here, wherever you go, any tiger nut that you found around is coming from Kwawi Adiyamwa. And as usual, let's go there and see what... But do you know one thing? As a gentleman, I think I need to ask you this question because um, every day I've been thinking about it. I don't know the reason behind you guys chewing tiger nuts. What is the reason behind For the reason, there, yeah. my sister, <laughs> my viewers, <laughs> I want to give you one secret about tiger nut. For tiger nut, when you blend it with coconut... And you want to do the work. I mean, when you want to have sex or sexual intercourse with your partner, blend tiger nut with coconut. And you see how far you can go. Power. So I think um, we have um, a nice woman here today who, are, who, who will be taking us through the farm today. So guess what? Follow me as we get closer to them and then have an interview section with them. Adiyamwa in the Kau South District in the eastern part of Ghana is recognized as the production hub of tiger nut. Indeed, producing the sweetest and best variants in the country. It is where large cultivation of the tiger nut is done. Mommy, you are going to be a good eye angle. Yes, I am. What do you say? Of course, I am. I am going to be a good eye angle. I am going to be a good eye angle. And you now you're frozen. Your friend me Dora. Dora. Me didn't the four credwina. Credwina, how many name did you Dora? Mommy, oh, sir, I told you, Jana, see, I see. Twenty years in your sir, see. Hmm. It's your new one. Why are they shifty? They are shifty. And then we are running school come. Hmm. No more, no more. Now I told you, dear, say now you are moody, no. It is sad, dear. We cover blue down. We do go in swim. And the main reason why visitors to Ko ensure they buy it in large quantities, either for personal use or as a gift for their families and friends. Tiger nut farmers at Kwa cultivate the crop twice every year during the second and third quarters. And to the question of why men largely never pass up an opportunity to indulge in tiger nut, either bought at Nkoko as they descend the Kwa mountains from a funeral or some other social event or 
in the urban areas when they are stuck in vehicular traffic, while tiger nut hawkers sing its aphrodisiac praises. The reason being that tiger nut have become synonymous with sexual performance enhancement that is longer and multiple sexual rounds, boosting of libido, and increasing of sperm count. In fact, it has to do with everything and anything sexual play. Interestingly, however, although tiger nuts are known to be consumed more by males than females, the cultivation is mostly done by women, making up 70% of the total farming population. According to a school of thought, it is quite challenging cultivating it and needs a lot of patience. A virtue that most men do not possess, for which reason it is more attractive to women. Also was studying science at the University of Cape Coast when he had the idea. Prince enlisted a classmate, Sam Pari Ousu Banahine, and together the two friends challenged themselves to change the way Ghanaians think about Tiger Nut. I was in University of Cape Coast when the conception of the idea came. I bypassed the woman who was selling tiger nuts. This crop is very nutritious and well known in Ghana, but up to this point, tiger nuts does not have a value added product in the market. So I wanted to experiment to know more about the crop. In 2018, the 24 year old excited by the potential of owning a business, decided to spend their school vacation on campus so they could do more research. In addition to milk, they realized that the tiger nut shell could be used for nutritious biscuits, so they started experimenting with it. We were able to come up with a tiger nut milk drink, tiger nut biscuits, and a laundry star spray. With their pocket money and help from families, Prince and Sam Pari rented a space on campus and turned it into a small laboratory. We rented another room in our hostel where we 
made the place the production area for the products. We had to close from lecture around 3 p.m., go to the production area, start processing. The Food and Drugs Authority gave them approval after inspection to operate a cottage industry and their company, Tiger House Limited, was born. Everything we were doing was very manual, so it took as much time before we could get the product out. So sometimes it could even end us in the next morning, uh, 2 a.m., 1 a.m., before we go to bed. Production, according to Prince, quickly became overwhelming as people out of campus and nearby towns became aware of the drink and biscuits and started placing orders. They needed to build bigger factory to meet demand. That's when one of their professors, David Kofi Esuman, Dean of Physical Science, stepped in. We met a mentor, Professor David Kofi Esuman, who was then our Dean of Students at the Physical Science University of Cape Coast. So he brought up this big facility which we currently work in. The factory was ready in 2019 but needed equipment. This was when the young partners saw the Youth Innovation for Sustainable Development Challenge, supported by the UNDP and the National Youth Authority. It proved invaluable. We needed funds to enhance or acquire some machines to enhance our production line. In any day on the production line, you are likely to see Prince and his team grind tiger nuts in a mill and pass them through a strainer to separate the shaft from the juice. The juice moves into a holder tank for starch extraction, then to the pasteurizer to remove microorganisms, and finally to bottling. So through the grant, we are able to purchase a grinder, a washing machine, also a separation, and also a holding tank and a pasteurizer. UNDP grants came in very handy to help us with the fabrication, which were done locally here in Ghana. The business incubation aspect of the YISD challenge was a good exposure. Prince met other like-minded young people from whom he learned a lot. UNDP grants came in very handy to help us with the fabrication, which were done locally here in Ghana. About 60 farmers supplied the factory and the success of the business has encouraged them to switch back to Tiger Nut. This has helped us with the process line of the milk drink, and now we are able to produce from uh, the 100 bottles we were doing before, now we're able to do 8,000 of the milk drink per month, and we're also able to do um, 4,000 of the biscuits. The two entrepreneurs are looking forward to adding more investors to address their remaining operational challenges such as gold vans to transport the milk drinks and fully automated line to extend the current two months shelf life of the drink to a year. In the incubation, we had series of lessons and series of lecture. And one of the things that I do remember very well is the design thinking. So because of that, we are able to improve on our design on the packaging. Now we are able to have a paper package which is very eco-friendly and our customers to also like it. The journey has shown Prince and Sam Paré that no matter what the obstacles lie ahead, they are able to rise to meet the occasion. Government and non-governmental organizations should help provide enough and improve farming facilities to the people of Edriamo to help solve unemployment and also reduce poverty. Eye ni agreke kifo ni din sawo so. Enti oba kun ekoye eko school eh kumase. Enti okusun atadwe no hu adwuma enti wo yesa ye ye ne powder. Ye timi de wheat flour na so so kakra e kan e de ye cake. Enti se ne eh ko kire yen eni so me ye timi de bi ye cake. E ti bi ye mark na yi. Na esa se se ne mi nuan kan yeah, young cast I am more than as so anti cakey cry the cacrebi. Nay, aye. And they say, no, they amaze, should I say, I type in a home for so be bra. 
ya ka se se ye ne powder no a e bi kra de ka koko ah wo ka e di bi di man kwara mo ni di na ye e ti sabua fo e ba e be bo a e won betimi ye nsu be nya won fa so won nsu betimi nya won fa so be pri mm enti se ne ye process no de ye powder no ye timi de ye milk ye timi de ye custard it may be a uh, donor, that's what they attack me. be a bit flat. You're not a phone to mom. Why? Well, so bad to me, feel with a man coming. Well, I wish I die. Oh, Yammy Bay, Yammy Bay. Last year, you cry your cocoa for ya. On by me, ye a tagino, na ye ye tiger G. Tiger G, no, ye a tagino, a yam yene, a dear baby fra fra, na ye drink ya, and crop for a to and no. And also, some crop when it's your pa. I'm a one a toy. It is a young boy for an assay, nipper be the young be shame one. On bet me the a yajuma. The young years was a kayena, young one saying small scale industry beer. Nature say, ye to me, a film nayan so ye yajuma visa tabin say, the basset oh, oh, quite yam one. Ye new machine, ketwa, the bay yam, just ye call quite yam and a nikanika for him. A blue beffer, Congo beffer. This is a beer machine kit to a be, and they are wild, the yam, the albinian, a tiger no powder, no perfect. Keep subscribing to our YouTube channel, Eagle Eye Angle. Like, comment, and share for us. The name still remains a fear. Okay. Keep it back.